we count on a certain amount of acidity in that which we ferment to distill in order that um, you know, it does several things. It lends to a creamier taste and, um, and, a, and a cleaner tasting distillate in the pot still. Uh, we like to use copper because it reacts with fatty acids and volatile acids that we find in uh, fermented washes of grains or in fermented fruit juices that become wines for distillation. Um, those volatile acids and fatty acids are things that we'd rather not drink or consume. It's things that are toxic to you when you drink wines. It's one of the things that we're doing is we're purifying what we're distilling. And so the fatty acids and volatile acids, when they heat and come in contact with copper, um, they, you know, the molecules break up and become other things. And among the things they become are fats that precipitate out of the distillate in the form of little blue green pieces. You'll see them go by one at a time. Or if you look at the other end where it's funneling itself into the tank, you'll see the, the, t the tissue catch is all blue green from fatty acids that have oxidized with the copper. So, it's one of those things that we look for in, in the first run to, to tell us that all the reactions we want to have happen inside the still are actually happening and lead to good stuff, good stuff in, it's good stuff out.